When we started, it was a mission-oriented church. We're supposed to be Jesus to other people. Mission and outreach is really the heart of the church. If we would only take a piece of the service on a given Sunday and let it expand into this community, that's the mission of the church. What does it look like for a church like Lord of Life, its people, to be out in the community, joining in with what God is doing and serving tirelessly and with a smile on your face? The beauty of being a member of a congregation like Lord of Life is you can try your hand at anything you'd like to and you are welcome to do so. There are multiple ways to serve. My primary involvement at this time is with the Stephen Ministry Group. What I do is spend time with someone, just talking with, listening to, and trying to be as supportive as possible. It's a privilege to be allowed to know very intimate details of their lives depending upon what they're going through. So it's very rewarding. I can't even count how many different ways we've done hunger. We've done garage sales to get money. We've done silent auctions to get funds for different things. Years ago, 14 of us went down to Jamaica for a mission trip, and another lady and I are going this year. This will be probably my 10th trip. It was life-changing for me. I fed people I'd never done that, so it was really remarkable for me. Many years ago, my husband and I found an old grocery cart. It was a wreck. So my husband fixed it all up, fixed the wheels, painted it, and we used that grocery cart for collecting food for the food pantry. We make prayer shawls. They're just enough to wrap around your shoulders, and they pray when they knit them. So prayers are actually knitted into them. Often it's for people who are in need of prayer, an illness or surgery, or maybe a loss of a loved one. It's wonderful. My husband and I have both been recipients, and in fact, Marilyn was the one that brought us the shawls and dinner. <laughs> there are people in this congregation that reach out in fellowship, reach out in opportunities to witness to the love of Christ. With Lutheran World Relief, every year we make quilts. Right before we're going to send them all out, we hang them over all of the pews. And people actually see the little pieces of material that maybe they've donated to those quilts and know that they're going someplace in another part of the world where somebody really needs them. We packed all these packages of macaroni and cheese over 20,000. We set up the downstairs so that there were stations. One group was in charge of measuring the macaroni and putting that in. People in our area were served, but it also went worldwide. To extend that mission is really important as a church as a whole. Having time to be involved working with our youth, who are really the future of this congregation, and try to nurture them, help them along, and not just let them flail. We love volunteering in order to benefit the community. From day one, we've always felt really welcome. It's definitely just a really warm environment. We just kept on coming and coming. And eventually I was like, oh, we're ushers now. Oh, cool, we're, we're communion assistants. Many people would say, well, geez, it takes a lot to volunteer or even the way that you do, but here, it doesn't feel like it. Mission is embedded into every member that steps through the door of this church. When you walk out, you're doing God's work. That's what we're called to do. I found that anything you do for someone else, it comes back many fold. It really does. Whether we're wearing a Lord of Life t-shirt or not, it's showing up. After a while, I think people start to catch on and like, hey, there's something going on at that church. God's up to something there.